Welcome to embracing your true potential in this 72 hour immersion in building your confidence. Now, today I'm going to share with you a technique that has been used since the dawn of time. And the best part is you're probably already doing it, but now you're going to learn how to do it intentionally and with purpose. This technique is favoured by the world's top athletes, renowned public speakers, and those individuals who can skillfully manage their own state of mind. It's a powerful strategy, particularly for those people seeking to tap into their confidence whenever they need it most. So whether you're taking on a new challenge like a job role, venturing out onto online video creation, or simply looking for the confidence to start your mornings with a refreshing jog. This strategy is going to guide you towards achieving your goals. But remember, this strategy is a tool and like any tool, its effectiveness depends on how you use it. So by being aware of the possibilities of change and actively implementing them, you'll hold yourself accountable for the transformation that you desire in your life. That's where the true power of this strategy lies. This highly effective yet simple approach is based on your physiology and body language. It's not just about how you hold, how you sit or stand. It's about the biochemical process that is happening within you. So through this strategy, you'll discover that your body's position plays a significant role in your thoughts and emotions. When I first stumbled upon this revelation, I was amazed at its immense power. Everyone I've taught this technique to has found a new way to manage their emotions from the very beginning. The key is to leverage your physiology. So in this video, we are going to teach you how to use your physiology for you rather than against you. You'll unlock a whole new level of control, of empowerment and calmness and poise in your life. So let's dive into this strategy and embrace the potential for positive change within you. Now, have yourself in a comfortable position. You don't need to watch the screen at all for this. You just need to be somewhere where you can hear my voice or have the volume up and you can do this sitting or standing. It doesn't matter. But I want you to give yourself some time to go through this exercise and I just want you to notice what it's like for you. So put your screen down near you, turn off your notifications and just be in a space where you can be left alone for the next few minutes. This is a time for you. Now, find that position. Now that you're in it, I want you to allow your head just to come down, slump your head down like this, have your shoulders slump forward. And I want you to stay in that position. Don't move a muscle, have those eyes looking down, chin down, head down, shoulders slumped. And all I want you to do is to think only briefly, is just to think of something really sad, just for a moment, and just notice what that's like for you. Now, this might seem counterintuitive for where you want to go, but just for right now, for the purpose of this exercise, just briefly think of something sad while you're in that position of head down, eyes down, and just notice what that's like for you. I want you to stay in that same position, head down, eyes down, without moving a muscle. And I want you to try and think of something really positive, something that would usually have you like absolutely buzzing and jumping for joy. I want you to try and think of that now in that position and just notice what that's like for you. Good. Now you're going to change your position. Now you're going to sit up. You're going to have your shoulders back, back nice and straight. Shoulders back, chest up, and you're going to have your chin lifted up. And you're also going to have those eyes looking up. As high as possible. Have those eyes looking up, chin up, shoulders back. Now in this position, I want you to try and think of that same sad thing that you thought of before. And just notice what it's like. Notice what it's like now in this position. Keeping those eyes up, don't move a muscle. Keep those eyes up, head up, shoulders back and just notice what it's like. And now think of that positive thing. So staying in the same position again, think of that really positive thing that has you absolutely buzzing, that has you absolutely jumping for joy. 
Think of that now in this position and notice what that's like now. And notice how the intensity of the emotions was different in the two positions. Now, we were exaggerating the positions for your benefit so you can really feel the value of having your posture in a head up, shoulders back position, eyes up. Adding the chin and the eyes up is a total game changer, especially if you work in busy, stressful environments. Simply by adopting your physiology on purpose, on demand, gives you the upper hand over the intensity of the emotions you are feeling. Now, to increase your confidence even further over the next 72 hours, start to make use of this strategy right away. The more you use it, the more it becomes part of your daily habit and you find yourself doing it unconsciously. You no longer think about doing it because you are doing it simply by keeping yourself out of that negative state. Remember how when you were in that down position, how intense the negative emotion was? So no matter what you've got going on in your life, no matter what stress you're dealing with, no matter what dramas, traumas, anxieties you're dealing with, if you are dealing with them, if you are dealing with them in this head up, shoulders back position with your eyes looking up. Now, of course, we can't walk around with our eyes right up there because you know you're going to walk into something one of the best things to do is just to have your eyes just slightly above eye level almost like as if you're walking down the street you would just slightly look above the person's head in front of you you still have all of your peripheral peripheral vision so you can still see everything you're not putting yourself in danger but you are having those eyes slightly up allows you access to the part of the brain that keeps you out of the negative spiral and actually puts you in a state where you are more in control. Embrace this technique fully. Again, this is the foundation from which we are building upon. This is going to tie in very nicely with the next strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you very soon. I'm Amy Cinnamon. I'll see you at the next one.